Today, we've got even more confirmation of specs and design of the upcoming iPad Pro 2022. Before we get started though, like the video if you're a fan of Apple and let me know in the comments who out there is waiting for the new. So first story of the day, we've got a new report from reliable display analyst Ross Young and he tells us that both the 12.9 inch and the 11 inch iPad Pro are going to be switching to OLED displays instead of the LED and mini LED configuration that we currently have. The ELEC have also reported that these are going to be low power LTPO displays and they also utilize a double stack structure and this is going to increase brightness and provide a longer lifespan for the display. Samsung are going to be supplying the OLED panels solely for the 11 inch iPad Pro while LG are going to be providing panels for both models. And while this is a big change for the iPad Pro, it's not going to be happening just yet. Now the plans are in place and it's looking like it is happening but this is reportedly for the 2024 iPad Pro models and not the refresh that we'll be seeing this year. When it comes to the 2022 iPad Pro though, one of the biggest changes reported early on was that the 11 inch model is going to switch from an LED display to a mini LED display and this is to provide a better brightness and contrast. While that seemed like the logical upgrade, unfortunately that's not going to be happening for this year's 11 inch iPad Pro. Ross Young tweeted and tells us that the 12.9 inch iPad Pro is doing really well and that Apple does not need to bring mini LED technology to the smaller model. And and it won't be happening this year. Now this may be disappointing for those of you that are waiting for the new 11 inch version but I guess it's another factor that differentiates the two models between each other and maybe it will encourage people to buy the 12.9 inch iPad Pro. Next up we have news from Mark German at Bloomberg who gave plenty of iPad Pro details in his latest Power On newsletter. While many expected the new iPad Pro to be unveiled at the peak performance event this month, according to Mark it's going to be launched in the fall of this year so that means that between September and October. Now we also advise that the new iPad Pros are going to be powered by Apple's new M2 chipset and feature MagSafe charging. The M2 chipset is expected to have the same 8 core CPU as its predecessor but it will be coming with improved performance and efficiency thanks to the 4 nanometer process. It's also expected that we'll be seeing 10 GPU cores instead of the predecessor's 7 to 8. It was initially rumored to be a 3 nanometer chipset, but of course, the effects of the chip shortage have changed plans of many chip fabricators, including TSMC, who are making the chipset. Now when it comes to the iPad Pros though, both the 11 inch and the 12.9 inch models are expected to be a refined version of their predecessors. Focus is said to be on hardware and user experience instead of completely redesigning the tablet. Now for those of you excited for the new iPad Pros though, we're now going to run through the full specs, design and the expected pricing for both models. For my regular viewers, you guys have seen this so just skip to the next video but if you're new here then hit subscribe now and we'll get right into it. So to start with, we've got the 11 inch iPad Pro. It will of course be an 11 inch display and while we had early rumors of both models having mini LED, unfortunately this one is going to be a normal LED display. We get a 120Hz display with full HDR support and a peak brightness of around 1700 nits. It's going to come with a resolution of 1668 by 2388 giving us 265 pixels per inch. On the front we get a 12 megapixel selfie camera capable of 1080p at 60 frames a second and when it comes to the rear we're expecting a 12 megapixel wide angle, a 12 megapixel ultra wide and a 3D lidar scanner. It's going to be powered up by Apple's M2 chipset which brings with it many improvements over the predecessor and it's going to come with a choice of 8 or 16 gigabytes of RAM along with storage configurable all the way up to 2 terabytes. It's going to be powered by a 28.65 watt hour battery with support for wireless and reverse wireless charging and it's also going to support 5G including millimeter wave for the cellular models. It's going to be shipping with iPadOS 15 and unfortunately Touch ID is not going to be making a return so Face ID is going to be the only biometric unlock available. When it comes to the pricing, it won't be a huge change from its predecessor so we can expect the 11 inch iPad Pro to start from $800 or £750. 
Next up, we've got the 12.9 inch iPad Pro. It will again be a 12.9 inch mini LED display offering HDR10 and Dolby Vision. It's going to be a 120Hz display with a resolution of 2048 by 2732 and while similar to its predecessor, we're expecting a higher peak brightness of around 1700 nits. We're expecting a single selfie camera embedded in the bezel on the front and again it's likely to be a 12 megapixel camera supporting 1080p at 60 frames a second. On the rear we're expecting a dual camera setup consisting of a 12 megapixel wide angle, a 12 megapixel ultra wide and the additional lidar scanner. It's going to be powered by Apple's new M2 chipset. We're expecting a choice of 8 or 16 gigs of RAM and storage is going to be configurable all the way up to 2 terabytes. It's going to be powered by a 40.88 watt hour battery along with wireless and reverse wireless charging and again it's going to support 5G with millimeter wave for the cellular models. When it comes to the pricing, the 12.9 inch iPad Pro is going to be starting from around $1,100 or £1,000 in the UK. So there's plenty of leaks coming in and while we can be pretty sure on a lot of the specs going by the previous releases, we'll no doubt get more and more confirmations over the coming months. So it's great to see a new refresh on an already popular device and this is no doubt going to be an exciting release for many. Now if any more information comes in, I'll be sharing it straight away, but as always I'd like to know your thoughts in the comments. So who out there is excited for the new iPad Pro 2022 and which one are you waiting for? But thanks for watching the video, if you liked it smash the thumbs up, if you didn't hit the thumbs down twice and I'll see you guys in the next one.